Hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to take your 613 yellow blonde wig and transform it into this super sexy, ashy, shadow rooted, much more wearable wig. Here she is. Here's our girl. So this wig is called Gabrielle and she's by Uni Wigs and she is a lace front wig. That brings me to tip number one, prepare for a time consuming procedure. So the first color I started with here was a seven natural. I want this wig to look super ashy, but if I added an A or an ash into this formulation, I guarantee you it would turn green. So I just did a seven N with 10 volume developer. Tip number two, paint carefully so that you do not touch the lace. I don't use a barrier cream or anything. I just freehand. But when it comes to the front and to the areas with lace, I am extremely careful to paint with as much precision as possible and to not touch the lace. Get as close to the lace as you possibly can, but don't touch it. This is why this is like surgery. It takes a long time. You have to go slow and you have to be careful because if you ruin your lace, that's it. Tip number three, time your blonde toning appropriately to your permanent root color. So what does that mean? Basically, permanent color takes 30 minutes to process. Depending on your toner, it takes anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes. So I decided to tone this ashy, and I find that ashy toners can go green pretty quickly, especially on extensions or on wigs. Tip number four, when washing your wig, use cold water to prevent bleeding into the lace cap and let the water drain down the hair. Don't rough up the hair too much as this could cause a lot of damage to your wig. So this is what we're left with now. Look at how unbelievably green this turned out. It was so gross. Now I did the exact same application as I did before, but I went deeper. Now I'm just blow drying her out, smoothing the cuticle layers down by directing airflow down and look at this gorgeous quality that this color has. Oh my God, I am so in love. Now, when it comes to styling, I love using my T3 one and a quarter inch curling iron. The way that I achieve that modern, not too fussy, not too curly, wavy look is by clamping at the root, moving down the hair, winding up, unwinding the iron, pushing down, winding up to finish that curl, and then smoothing down to straighten out the ends. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think?